Now that we have a good understanding of how to complete the square, or how to use complete the square method to solve quadratic equations, we shall now take a look at the general solution of a quadratic equation, or sometimes it is known as the general formula for a quadratic equation. The general formula for finding the solution to a typical quadratic equation is given by this. Okay, this formula here. Now, it is good that you can memorize this formula, but it is better if you can understand how this formula is being derived. So, now we shall attempt to try to use the uh, complete the square method to try to derive this formula. Okay, so first of all, let us uh, copy down the typical quadratic equation that we always have. Is it equal to zero? Okay, so let us do it step by step using complete the square. So for the first step of completing the square, we shall make x square uh, coefficient be 1. Okay, so we shall um, take out a, okay, and we'll end up with b over a, x plus c over a. Alright, so this is the typical first step that uh, we always do, isn't it? All right, we must always make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay, so the next step we will do will be the second step of, a co of, of completing the square will be to take the coefficient of x, all right, well now, which is this case, in, in this case is b over a, isn't it? So we shall take the coefficient of x, which is b over a, divided by 2. So b over a divided by 2 will give us b over 2a. Now, we'll add this item in, square it, okay, and we'll minus away the same item as per what we have learned earlier on, and we copy down the c over a. Let's go to 0. Okay, so now we are at our final step of completing the square, and that will be to recognize that the first three terms here now becomes a perfect square. Okay? So these three terms here can now be compressed into a perfect square, which is your x plus b over a holding square. Okay? Now, whatever is left over, well, you have no choice but to just expand it and just leave it alone. Right? I suppose we need more space for this, so let us grow up a little bit. Okay. So this is, you know, almost done. You know, this is almost our complete thing, the square. Um, you're almost done. Oh, I'm sorry, here, this should be an A square. Okay, because it's a square here. So, we have to multiply in the A, so we end up with this. Okay, so we multiply in the A, we have B square over 4A plus C is equal to 0. Alright, so now remember what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to find X. We are going to find out what is X, right? So, in this case, what we do is, of course, we'll try to make x the subject. So, that we shall do. Okay, we'll bring the negative b squared over 4b, 4a over to the right-hand side, and that will give us a positive b squared over 4a. We'll bring the positive c over to the right-hand side, and that will give us a negative c. Okay, and again, we need a little bit more space here. All right. So, what do we do next? Well, remember we're supposed to make x the subject. So now, we have to divide the a over. So when we divide the a over, we have x plus b over 2a in the square is equal to b square over 4a square minus c over a. Okay? So now we have to, well, this looks pretty you know, 
cumbersome here, isn't it? So let us just try to uh, make it into a single fraction. Okay, so make it a sing single fraction, then this is what we get. Uh, we multiply it by 4a here. Okay, and uh, of course we multiply the bottom, the denominator, by 4a as well. So that we can have the common denominator. So for the numerator, we'll have our b squared minus 4ac. Alright, divided by 4a squared. Alright, so we start to see our familiar formula forming up. Alright, so we need a little bit more space still. Okay, so now what do we do? We have to make x a subject. So now we have to square root both sides. Alright, so we square root both sides. This is what we got. Okay, we'll end up with plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So now what we do is, well, of course, we try to simplify this, isn't it? But the b squared minus 4ac is not, there's nothing you can do about the b squared minus 4ac. Alright, but there is something you can simplify here for your 4a squared. So let us continue simplifying. Is equal to plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Right? Square root of 4 is 2, square root of a squared is a. So, let us continue to see what we get up of here. So, well, we want to make x a subject, so we bring this b over 2a over becomes minus b over 2a. Right? So we have plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So since they all have the same denominator, we can combine the numerator together and we'll get the famous formula that we know of. Okay, so this is how the general formula, okay, to find the general solution of a quadratic equation is derived. Okay, you can do that um, using complete the square method.